They called it the Demon Core, a silent metal sphere that killed two scientists in less than a year. Right after 70 World War II, hidden inside a lab at Los Alamos, sat a 6-2-kilogram ball of plutonium. It was built to be the heart of a third atomic bomb. But the war ended before it was dropped, so instead, they turned it into an experiment. August 1945. Physicist Harry Daglian is alone in the lab at night, performing what they casually called tickling the dragon's tail. He stacks heavy, dense bricks around the core, pushing it closer and closer to the edge of a nuclear chain reaction. Then one brick slips, there's a blinding blue flash. Harry yanks the bricks away with his bare hands trying to stop the reaction. He succeeds. But he's already absorbed a massive dose of radiation. He dies weeks later, his organs failing one by one. Less than a year passes, they try again. This time, Louis Slotin stands over the same core, surrounded by other scientists. He holds two metal shells around the plutonium, keeping them apart with nothing but a screwdriver. If the shells close, the core goes critical. The screwdriver slips. Another violent blue flash fills the room. In under half a second, Slotin takes a lethal dose, around a thousand rads. He rips the shell away with his bare hands, saving everyone else in the lab, and dies nine days later in agony. Originally, they called the core Rufus. After killing two men, it earned a new name, the Demon Core. History remembers the bombs that exploded, but almost never the secret experiments, that almost did.